Hello everyone, welcome to the Career Search. In this uh, video, we will see power saving modes of 8051 microcontroller. Now, before we go to power saving modes of 80 microcontroller, 8051 microcontroller, let us see why exactly it is important to save power in case of embedded systems. Now, uh, if you take example of uh, uh, desktop computer, desktop computer there is no not much need of saving power because uh, it is directly connected to the power source now if you take example of the mic uh, laptop for example laptop has got uh, power saving modes right because most of the times we use laptop with a battery and uh, as you know as we go on using device a device the battery goes on battery power goes on reducing now laptop has got some power saving modes we call it as a sleep mode or an hibernate sleep and hibernate these are the two modes which laptop has now take for example of a remote control the remote control also we do have batteries inside and most of the times remote remote control uh, is uh, lying idle and whenever we pick it up and use it uh, we find that it, it it starts working you don't have to turn on or off this remote control thing you don't have to turn it on or off moment you pick it up and point towards your device it's it, it's it starts working now in this case as well we need to have power saving mode so that the battery lasts as much long as possible and that is precisely why all the microcontrollers have got this power saving mode now, now in case of uh, 8051 there are two power saving modes one is idle mode and the second is power down mode so today we are going to see what exactly is an idle mode and what exactly is a power mode, the power down mode and what is the difference between the two. Now as you know that 8051 has got a crystal oscillator right. So in this diagram if you look at this diagram there is a crystal oscillator shown over here and this crystal oscillator is then further the frequency given out, given out by the crystal oscillator is then further divided by 12 gets divided by 12 over here. Now in this case you can see two signals here, here is a power down signal or power down uh, bar is shown with power down bar and here it is idle bar. Now this AND gate has got one input from the crystal oscillator and another input from power down bit. Now before going to the power down bit or from where like we have to see where exactly from where you exactly you get this input that is PD input and idle input and for that we need to see what exactly is PCON resistor power control resistor of 8051. Now using this power control resistor we are going to control the power we are going to save the power. So we have to focus on these two bits, D1 bit and D0 bit. So we start counting from here. This is a D0 bit and this is D7 bit. So in case of power control, we have to focus on these two bits. Now these are the user defined flag, GF1 and GF0 are the user defined flag. These three uh, bits are not used and S mod, this particular bit of power control is used for doubling the baud rate in case of serial communication. So for time being you ignore this, we have to focus on these two bits. Now these two bits you will have to program such that you can send this 8051 in any of the two power saving modes now there's a normal mode is zero zero now these two bits if you keep it zero zero then eight zero five one is working in normal mode now if you keep it say this one and this zero then s this uh, eight zero five one will be working in idle mode now if you keep this one and this zero in that case this is power down mode and obviously if you even if you keep it one one this is again power down mode now these modes are these two modes we are interested in now let us go back to this diagram as this is the on and gate this will give output here only when this is one 
and this is 1. Unless you get both the inputs are 1, then only you get the output. Now, here is a clock pulse that is being generated by the crystal oscillator. So, clock pulse has got 1s and zeros form, right? Now, if you keep this 1, then this clock pulse will be transferred here as it is. Whenever there is both the inputs are 1, output will be 1. And when this becomes 0 during this period, the output will be 0. So, exactly same waveform, whatever the crystal oscillator is giving will be transferred here. And further that gets divided by 12. And then we give input uh, and then this uh, the output of this block is given to all the peripherals. Now, look at this. There is one more AND gate here and you give the input to the AND gate is through one from uh, this crystal by 12 block and crystal oscillator by 12 block and this idle bit. Now, if you keep this idle bit, if you give this one, then only what we, what we will do is you will get the divided by 12 frequency here and that frequency is given to the CPU. So, I will just show, show this frequency which is divided by 12 with the green color here. Now, this frequency gets divided by 12. The same frequency appears over here and then that is given to the CPU. So, as you can see, in if you want if you want this gate to produce the same frequency input frequency pd bar needs to be 1 and if you want this crystal this and gate to give same frequency here then idle bar needs to be 1 now coming back to the peak on resistor as you, as i told you if you keep pd 0 and IDL bit 1, then what happens? Check. This is idle bar. So, in this case, PD signal is 1 here because you are giving 0. So, PD1, PD bar becomes 1 here. So, this signal is there intact, but this signal you will not get because idle bar will be 0. So, what will happen in this case? CPU will not get any frequency, it will be freezed. But all the peripherals, such as timer, interrupt, serial port, all these peripherals will keep getting the frequency. Are you getting it? So, what happens in that case? CPU is freezed, no frequency given to the CPU, but other peripherals are getting the, uh, the, the, the clock pulse. So, they are alive, they are working, they are still in the proper state. So, all the, uh, st the status of the RAM is intact, or status of the SFRs is intact and the, the signal is being given to this. Now, this is called as idle mode. Now, in this case, what will happen? CPU is freezed, but the peripherals are awake. Now, how to, uh, and, and in this mode, the power drawn by the CPU is very, very less. The entire system, the microcontroller is very less compared to normal mode, right? Now, if, uh, if microcontroller has to be brought back to the normal mode, then you have two options for doing that. First option is to generate an interrupt. If you want to get back to the normal mode, then first option is to generate interrupt and a second is to give reset signal. Okay. Now, if you generate an interrupt, the microcontroller will come back. You have to write a subroutine and microcontroller can come back. Now, this is like uh, when you have a laptop, what do you do when the laptop, laptop is in the sleep mode? You just hit the key. So, you, whenever you hit the key of the, of the uh, say, keyboard, the interrupt is generated and microcontroller, um, your laptop comes back to the normal mode. So, similar mode is over here, the idle mode. You have to generate an interrupt and that interrupt can take care of bringing back, micro, bringing that microcontroller back to the normal mode or else you have to give a reset signal. Now, there is a hard uh, reset button, there is a reset push button that is given in the microcontroller. So, you have to give that reset signal and when you give the reset signal, microcontroller can come back to the normal mode again. Let us talk about the power down mode. Now, when 
power down when, when do you have a power down at that time remember in case of power down mode cpu there will be no clock pulse clock signal to the cpu as well as there will be no clock pulse to the all the peripherals and that is only possible when you give zero here when the zero is given right so when the zero is given to like when pd bar can be zero when pd is one so here you can see the pd is one here and the idle bit we are keeping it zero that means idle bit we are keeping it zero so idle bar is one this can function but the problem is since you are giving zero over here by making this pd bit one this and gate will stop functioning you will not get the same pulse here you will not get anything uh, at the output of this and because of that there is no clock pulse given to the timer or the peripherals and even the cpu further so this is called as power down mode now in case of power down mode cpu is freezed all the peripherals are freezed that means the power consumption is still less is lesser than the you know uh, the idle mode so now in this case how to come out of the idle mode uh, power down mode see here the peripherals are freezed so the option of giving interrupt signal and coming out to, from the power down mode is not there now only option that you have is giving a reset signal and coming back to the normal mode right so in case of uh, in case of idle mode you can give interrupt signal or reset signal but in case of power down mode you cannot wake microcontroller up by giving interrupt but you have to give reset signal only okay so that is it about the power down mode and the idle mode both combining together power saving modes of 8051